chains. Are you serious? We're talking about persecution coming upon the church. Do you have your coffee? Do you have your Bible? And do you have your prayer warrior spirit on you? Are you ready to go to the Lord in prayer? Because we have a powerful persecutions around the globe attacking the church. Let's get there right now. Uh, this is what Jesus said. I'm going to tell you some incidents that's going on around the world. But Jesus said this in Matthew 24 when he asked about the signs of his coming. He said, then shall they deliver you up, <clears throat> excuse me, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many would wax cold, but he that endure to the end the same shall be saved. Now let me just say this to you, that recently in New Mexico there were students were suspended from school because they brought the teacher some Krispy Kreme donuts with Bible scriptures in them. And the uh, Roswell Independent School District suspended these kids from school. Suspended them for bringing Bible verses in a donut. What? You Look, they should be more concerned about kids coming to school with guns and bullets and, and crime riddled and all the different stuff that's going on and all of them. Instead, they're, they're sending Christian kids home because they brought a Bible verse in, in a donut. What? Are you serious? But that's nothing. I'm going to thank Karen for sending me that. But uh, in India, three pastors were arrested um, because they were leading people to Jesus. It was, they were crimes of converting. They're being accused of converting Muslims to Christians. They, they were able to get 150 people to get saved and come to Jesus Christ. But these three Pentecostal preachers were arrested for preaching the gospel. I understand what that's about. In 1997, when I was in India, I was in Orissa, India there, and I literally was preaching outdoors under a tent, 3,000 people came to hear me preach for three days, three services a day. Over 450 of them give their heart to Christ. And I had an M16 rifle stuck up underneath me um, and, uh, for preaching because I didn't have a permit. Now, we were able to work it out. And I had 40 pastors that were there who helped me during that time. And they told me, they said, Paul. One guy spent 27 days in jail for preaching. They were being persecuted. Well, we know the persecutions are terrible. As in 2007, and I'm going to read to you right now. Give me a moment here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be quick. But uh, In Manchester, England, there was a, a preacher on the street who was arrested the other day for preaching on the street. And I want to thank Garth for sending me that information uh, as he personally knows the guy. And I saw the, there's a videotape of him. The guy's preaching, but because he was preaching against homosexual lifestyle, they arrested him on the streets of Manchester, England. And he was a very calm, nice young man being arrested for preaching the gospel. Listen, it's happening all around the world. Now, in, back in, in India, in, uh, on Christmas Eve, December 24, 2007, there were some major attacks that went through Orissa, India, the very area where I had been. And some of the very churches that we helped build were burnt. A hundred churches were burnt that night. Twenty-four of them were churches that my organization, that I'm a, uh, a member of, uh, the uh, it's called the Arissa Project out of Kokomo, Indiana. They burnt 24 of our churches, killed three of our pastors, and 50,000 people were left homeless. And this went on, of course, and then again, in August of 2008, the Hindus attacked again. Uh, killing pastors, uh, burning churches, uh, and destroying homes. Over 4,014 Christian homes were destroyed in 300 different villages, leaving 50,000 people displaced, two pastors dead, and 24 other Christians killed, and one nun gang raped, all during the day of August 23rd, 2008, burning over 100 churches again. I'm telling you, persecution, it goes on all over the world. There's 11 pastors been arrested in China. There's pastors being put in prison in different parts of the globe. It's the church in chains. And folks, 
listen to me. These are parts of the sign of the second coming of Jesus Christ. I want you to look to the Lord. I want you to be born again. Give your heart to Jesus. Send me a personal message. You want to be saved. I want to help pray with you and lead you to the Lord in Jesus' name. God bless you.